I have a couple more stories from Sideways Stories from Wayside School that I'm going to share today. We're going to start off with Kathy. Kathy doesn't like you. She doesn't know you, but she still doesn't like you. She thinks you're stupid. In fact, she thinks you are the stupidest person that she doesn't know. What do you think of that? She also thinks you're ugly. As a matter of fact, she thinks you are the ugliest person that she doesn't know. And she doesn't know a lot of people. She doesn't like the people she knows either. She hates everybody in Miss Jules's class. She did like one member of the class. She liked Sammy. Remember him? She thought he was funny. Sammy was a dead rat. But Kathy has good reasons for not liking any of the children she knows. She doesn't like DJ because he smiles too much. She doesn't like John because he can't stand on his head. Kathy once had a cat named Skunks. She liked Skunks, but she was afraid that Skunks would run away. You have nothing to worry about, Kathy, said Miss Jules. Skunks won't run away. Just be nice to him and feed him and pet him and he won't run away. He may go out and play, but he'll always come back. No, you are wrong, Mrs. Jules, said Kathy. What do you know? He'll run away. So Kathy kept skunks locked in her closet at home. She never let him out and sometimes she forgot to feed him. One day, while Kathy was looking for her other shoe, Skunks ran out of the closet and never came back. You said he would come back, Miss Jules, said Kathy, and he never came back. You were wrong. And I was right. That's why Kathy didn't like Miss Jules. The next time I get a cat, I'm going to kill him and he'll never run away said Kathy. Then there was the time that Damien tried to teach Kathy how to play catch. Damien said, when I throw you, you the ball, Kathy, just try to catch it. Well, I can't catch, said Kathy. I'll just get hurt. You won't get hurt, said Damien. Just watch the ball. He tossed it to her, but Kathy knew she was going to get hurt, so she closed her eyes and the ball hit her on the cheek. It hurt. Kathy began to cry. You were wrong, she sobbed, and I was right. That was why Kathy didn't like Damien. Allison believed that if you're nice to someone, then they'll be nice to you. So one day she brought Kathy a cookie. I don't want your ugly cookie, said Kathy. It probably tastes terrible. Allison said, no, it's really very good. I made it myself. Kathy said, if you made it, then it must stink. You can't cook. You're too stupid. She just put the cookie in her desk along with her pencils and crayons and books. Three weeks later, Kathy was hungry. All right, Allison, she said. I'll try your stupid cookie. She took it out of her desk. It was covered with dust. She bit into it. It was hard. It tasted terrible. See, said Kathy. I was right. That's what Kathy didn't, why Kathy didn't like Allison. Yes, Kathy had a very good reason for not liking anybody she knew, but she also had a good reason for not liking you. And she doesn't even know you. Here her reason is. She knows that if you ever met, you wouldn't like her. You wouldn't like Kathy. Do you? See? She was right. It's funny how a person can be right all the time and still be wrong. Chapter 21, Ron. Ron had curly hair and a little and little feet. I want to play kickball, he said. You can't play, said Terrence. Get out of here, said Dee Dee. Scram, said Jason. But I want to play kickball, said Ron. 
Well, you are not playing, said Terrence, so beat it. Ron stomped across the playground to the hopscotch area. Jenny was playing hopscotch with Lewis. Jenny was on nine. Lewis was still on four, but it was his turn. I want to play kickball, said Ron. So go play kickball, said Lewis. Well, Terrence won't let me play, said Ron. Lewis walked with Ron to the kickball field. Hey, what about our hopscotch game? Jenny asked. Ah, you won, said Lewis. I just beat Lewis in hopscotch, Jenny announced proudly. Leslie, Rondi, and Allison flocked around her. Hey, Lewis, Damon shouted. You want to play a game of kickball? Well, all right, said Lewis. Ron and I will both play. Uh, no, said Terrence. Ron isn't playing. Anybody who wants to play can play, said Lewis. Mm, no, he can't, said Terrence. It's my ball. Uh, it isn't your ball, said Lewis. Well, you gave it to me, said Terrence. Well, I gave it to you to share, said Lewis. If you can't share it, then you can't have it. Oh, all right, said Terrence, but I get to pitch. Ron and I will stand against everybody, Lewis announced. Well, all right, said Jason, we'll kill him. We'll murder them, said Dee Dee, and we'll smash them, said Myron. We'll see, said Lewis. Ron pitched Lewis Ron pitched and Lewis played the eight other positions. 20 minutes later, they finally got three outs. The score was 21 to nothing. Ron was up first. Infield, shouted Damien. Everybody stood within 10 feet of home plate. All right, Ron, Lewis shouted, kick it over their heads. Ron kicked the ball only three and a half feet. Todd picked it up and threw him out. Lewis was up. Everybody ran back to the edge of the outfield. Still, Lewis kicked the ball right over their heads for a home run. Everybody ran all the way back in again for Ron's up. He kicked the ball only two feet. Dee Dee tagged him out. Lewis kicked a, another home run. Ron then kicked the ball a foot and tripped over it on his way to first base. Three outs. Ron and Lewis held the other team at, to only five runs the next inning. That was because the bell rang. Lunch was finally over. Lewis and Ron lost 26 to two. Ron had a wonderful time. The next day, Ron said, I wanna play kickball. You can't play, said Terrence. Get out of here, said Jason. Scram, said Dee Dee. I want to play kickball, Ron told Lewis. Lewis walked with him to the kickball field. Ron and I will stand against all of you. Everybody liked the teams. Ron pitched while Lewis played the other eight positions. They lost 57 to two. After the game, Lewis took Ron aside. Listen, Ron, he said, why do you always want to play kickball? You can't kick, you can't field, and you can't even run to first base. You just get smashed every game. Hey, wait a second, said Ron. Don't go blaming it all on me. You're half the team too, you know. And with that, he punched Lewis in the stomach and he punched a heck of a lot harder than he kicked. All right, guys, that's the end of our two stories for today. Come back again and we will read another couple chapters. See ya.